Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a foundation Friday and a review for Even Steven Whip Foundation from The Balm. This actually has been out for about almost months ago and I've already had this for like, yeah, for like a long time and I've tried this once before I review in my blog and today, since I've been using it for months, I feel like I know the good and the bad really well. Especially, mostly my foundation is so good when I first trying it and then for months later, it feels like kind of flop, you know, I start noticing some bad things about the product and what's a good way to use it. So here I'm going to show you how to use the Even Steven Whip Foundation and I also want to show you the difference if I use um, this foundation and before I use it. So as usual, I'm gonna use this foundation on the right side without any primer. I have already have my aloe vera gel, but that kind of like doesn't change much on the foundation appearance. And this side, I'm gonna use um, primer, makeup base, which is Le Blanche de Chanel and Benefit Professional. So if you have oily skin and um, comedogenic and sensitive skin, I recommend you to watch this video if you consider to purchase this product. There are many ways to use this product. Mostly they use hands, but I like to use hand to just like dab some of the product. This is shoe blade. If you know, haven't known shoe blade, it likes cakey, cake texture somewhat. And I love the fact that even though it's shoe blade, it doesn't like sticky, it doesn't like too hard on your skin. It's so smooth, just like just like cake. A little product goes a long way, so I guess this is too much. I choose the shade medium dark because the because the girl told me that um, you supposedly to choose the shade darker than your skin tone because when it's oxidized, it will kind of like lighten up a bit. So I'm gonna apply this using a brush, which is my favorite way to apply shovel like foundation. I think I wanna try this side using my hand. I haven't tried using my hand previously. I've always used brush or a sponge or both. But the makeup artists that they invited to the, the lounge event, they use the hand, they use the hand and then it looks it looks pretty good. Okay, so I don't know why when I play with my hands it feels a little darker, so I think I'm gonna do it with my brush. I hope you can see the difference, but the coverage is really great. I love it. Sometimes when I don't feel like the foundation blends well, I use sponge like this and then I kind of like dab it lightly just to make sure that the foundation sets on my skin. Okay, you might see it a little bit lighter than the usual. But that's the thing it is, um, I choose, even though I choose the medium dark, it oxidizes and getting lighter on my skin which is, which is great because I like to see the foundation match a little bit, you can see it's getting matchy now with my skin tone. So now I'm gonna apply some Benefit Professional on this side and also Le Blanche de Chanel to see the difference if that makes any change on the foundation texture or some, some other things, we'll see. I have a super large pores on my nose and this area which is not a best friend for makeup lovers because you have to like blur it. If you notice this is actually matte foundation so if you have oily skin this is gonna be the perfect foundation for you and if you have oil uh, normal to dry skin Probably uh, you can choose this 
foundation too but you need to add some luminizer or highlighter. Now on this side I will apply using a sponge to see if it make a difference. The sponge kind of like take some products away from your skin so it doesn't like too much on your skin which is a good thing I guess and let's see if it works well alright can you see the difference now so I guess using sponge is the best way to apply this product because you can see this one is like smoother than this one my battery died and I stopped for like 30 minutes just to charge it up a little bit and now I'm gonna give you the result of what I did on my face since the balm even Steven whip foundation is chewably textured it is super creamy but it's not like that thick like a usual um, stick foundation this one is super creamy and it's easy to blend on your skin which is good and it has a great coverage if you have an even skin tone if you have a redness or stuff like that I definitely recommend this product and you start noticing that it melts on my skin it gets a bit lighter even though I chose the medium dark which is why I like it one thing that I noticed from this foundation from a long time I've been using it is that on this side where I don't use any primer or pore filler it looks smooth even though it still like emphasize the texture of my pores because I have I have large pores here it's kind of like making tiny holes yeah it's it's matched with the texture of my skin and then on this side where I put a professional pore filler or a makeup base it's it's worse it's even worse like i can see my pores through it and i can see like it's just really worse i can see like white hats so it doesn't it doesn't like it doesn't like completely cover them but it's kind of emphasize the texture your skin texture so if you have um if you have a pores or the same skin condition like me I don't think this is gonna be a good idea but I like to mix this foundation with a liquid foundation like Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation it looks super good it looks super amazing I feel like when I mix it with the liquid foundation it works better on my skin with the comedogenic and oily skin conditions and another thing that I like to do with this foundation is I use this for daily not like for uh, to the party or to an event because I don't know why and I like to use this foundation with brush and then damn it with a sponge feels better on me and also mixing it with the liquid foundation is better because I feel like this one has a good coverage and the liquid foundation will kind of like um, make your skin texture a bit better if you know what i mean this one is good coverage the liquid is gonna melt on your skin so it's a good combo it's on my opinion so my final opinion is that i do like the balm even steven whip foundation but i like it better when i mix it with liquid foundation which is if you have a oily skin and you have a comedogenic and an even skin texture I definitely recommend you to mix it with a liquid foundation which is gonna make this foundation works better on your skin texture but if you have a normal to dry skin I don't think that will be necessary because you will have a flawless texture anyway and yeah if you ask if it's oxidized of course obviously every kind of makeup is oxidized because oxidized is the reaction between chemical ingredients in the product and the oxygen because it is we using we are having contact with oxygen so it's obviously oxidized. So 
So what I'm saying is this product indeed makes my skin matte, makes my makeup look looks matte, but it doesn't last that long. You know, I think it lasts for about four to six hours and then I get this oily on my nose my cheek and others, my chin but that's enough I think not that oily really bad it's just some shine so yeah it's great so if you guys about to try this product you can refer on my opinion on how I use this sometimes it's not always entirely the product that is wrong or that is doesn't doesn't work on our skin it's probably it could be because the way we use it and I learned a lot from this product how I should use with foundation and I like it better when I mix it with the liquid foundation so thank you so much for watching that's all my review I hope you guys enjoy this review and I hope this review helps you before you purchase this foundation thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next one bye